Carter, and welcome to the exciting world of hip. Good morning. I'm Andrea Jackson with your wake-up call for Thursday, December 16th, 2010. Heading to Paris anytime soon? You can cross the Eiffel Tower off your to-do list. Workers at the famous landmark are on strike indefinitely. The French are so angry this year. Time Magazine has crowned Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg their Person of the Year, beating out Steve Jobs and troublemaker Julian Assange. But I doubt the WikiLeaks founder is too worried about missing out on the honor after being bailed out of jail by filmmaker Michael Moore. And no, I'm not kidding. The Senate passed the tax cut extensions. Now it's up to the House to close the deal. If all goes as planned, ink should be dry by this afternoon. An American man who had HIV has been free of the virus for three years after undergoing a stem cell transplant. Researchers think this could be the answer for an AIDS cure. Teens are smoking more pot and drinking less booze, so says our new study of the week. Dropside cribs are so yesterday. The old standard has been outlawed and will be replaced with fixed sided cribs by June. And Larry King will have one last show tonight on CNN before he turns the mic over and hangs up his suspenders. His British replacement Pierce Morgan starts next year. The guest list is being kept top secret with the exception of Ryan Seacrest and Bill Maher being confirmed by the cable network. Des Moines, hello or goodbye. Anyway. That's a horrible Larry King impersonation. I'm sorry. Your Phoenix weather forecast, rainy and cold. Highs in the 60s. That is your Phoenix wake-up call. I'm Andrea Jackson. I'll ring you in the morning. Be good.